These are the 10 most popular dinosaurs. Number 10. This is the forgotten record holder for largest terrestrial carnivore of all time. Meet Spinosaurus, the fish-catching master. One species, S. Aegyptiacus, is valid while a second species, S. Moricanus, is possible, but unknown. Until 2018, it has been traditionally deemed as bigger than T. rex, at 59 feet long, 23 feet high and weighing 23 tons or 20 metric tons. But new 2024 research say that it was smaller, at 46 feet long, 16 feet tall and weighing 9 tons or 8 metric tons. It is also a controversial villain in Jurassic Park III, when it broke T. rex's neck. They were initially thought to be giant terrestrial meat-eaters, which had the ability to kill anything in their path and run on two legs. But ever since 2010, paleontologists believe that Spinosauruses were more aquatic than previously hypothesized. And also in 2024, it's thought Spinosauruses were more like a strong swimmer. They had conical teeth with no serrated edges that are used to hold on to a struggling large fish without releasing it. They used their small back legs and large tail fin to propel themselves underwater. They got their genus name thanks to their five foot tall spines. If covered in skin, they likely formed a sail, fin or maybe even a hump. This sail-like structure probably helped them balance while swimming. Number 9. This carnivorous dinosaur was such an icon. In fact, that it was considered the most inaccurate dinosaur in Jurassic Park. This is Dilophosaurus. It lived in the American United States during the early Jurassic. It got its name from a pair of head crests, but was previously placed in the first validly named dinosaur genus, the European Megalosaurus. There was formerly also a second species, but this time was found in Asia's China. Currently, it got its own genus, Sinosaurus, alluding to its location. It can be 20 feet long, 6 feet tall and weigh 550 pounds or 1 quarter ton. It was the largest land animal during its existence. Sometimes, it was traditionally depicted with a neck frill and seen attacking by spitting venom, which became a crazy hit in 1993's Jurassic Park. But it was proven not to have those features since it was still dangerous. See? It has slicing hand talons and a jaw full of serrated conical teeth. However, the jawline is similar to that of crocodilians, which would indicate holding onto a slippery fish. Number 8. This giant predator has been traditionally thought to be bigger and more powerful than the T-Rex. Meet Gigantosaurus, the gigantic apex predator. It lived in Argentina during the late Cretaceous and was one of the biggest land carnivores ever known. It was previously thought to be bigger than Tyrannosaurus, but smaller than both Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. But current research puts this titanic predator at 45 feet long, 13 feet high and weighing 10 metric tons, which recently makes it the largest member of the Carnosauria group of predatory theropods, and heavier than poor Spinosaurus. Carnosauria also includes Allosaurus. Its size might make it longer and slightly taller than T. rex. It weighed less because it was not as bulky as the king of dinosaurs. It initially was said to run at 31 miles per hour, but new research say that its large size only made it run 21 miles per hour, which made it capable of taking down sauropods of a similar size to it. It would use its shark-like serrated teeth as knives, cutting flesh with a quick bite. As a tradition, it has been depicted coexisting with one of the heaviest dinosaurs, Argentinosaurus, but in fact, they didn't coexist. Only its smaller and later pack hunting relative, Maposaurus, coexisted with the giant sauropod. The gigas depicted like this are now considered Maposauruses, but there is a titanic sauropod that could possibly be a second Argentinosaurus species. When it was featured as the main villain in Jurassic World Dominion, it became a worldwide success. Number 7. This is a favorite dinosaur of many kids. Meet Ankylosaurus, the walking armored tank. This is a fan favorite when it comes to armored dinosaurs because of how unusual it is. It became a crushing success because of Jurassic Park and walking with dinosaurs. It can be 30 feet long, stand 8 feet at the back and weigh 10 tons or 9,074 kilograms, which surprisingly makes it the largest of all armored dinosaurs. Uh, what? But it's also the last one to go extinct, dying out when the Paleogene started 65 million years ago. Its signature feature is its large round bone on its tail tip called the club tail. It can use it to hit a predator, and even rivals of its own genus and species. One whack from the tail and the victim may die from broken bones. It may have also lured in a predator with the tail until- Its back is covered in a large row of armored scoots and bony plates, resembling pure armor. It lived alongside its three-horned buddy, Triceratops. And their biggest enemy is the tyrannical Tyrannosaurus Rex. Number 6. 
You wouldn't be surprised when I say that this predatory dinosaur is a fan favorite. Meet Allosaurus, the speedy predator. It was a large success in the British Walking with Dinosaurs documentary and Planet Dinosaur. Today, only three species are valid, with one newly named in 2020, and they all thrived in both the American United States and Europe's Portugal during the end of the Jurassic. But previously, many species were included and were thought to not just live in the U.S., but also in Switzerland, Russia, Tanzania, China and even Australia during the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous. Two dubious genera that are possibly Allosaurus or Antridemus, and the possibly giant Epantereas, with a valid genus, Sorophaganax, being argued as an Allosaurus sometimes. And there's also the lesser-known Apatodon, which was formerly described as a pig. Genera that are now Allosaurus synonyms include Labrosaurus and Creosaurus. Allosaurus can be 30 feet long, stand 9 feet tall and weigh 4,400 pounds. It was previously thought to hunt by using its serrated teeth as a hatchet, but that was disproven when a new hypothesis depicts it jumping onto prey. To hunt a large sauropod, it probably hunted in packs. It can run up to 30 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest large theropods. Number 5. When it comes to the biggest dinosaurs ever, this one is a fan favorite. Brachiosaurus, the titanic giraffe. In the past, five species were deemed and were thought to inhabit the United States, Algeria, Tanzania and Portugal during the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous. But currently, the Tanzanian species became Giraffatitan, the Portuguese species became Lusotitan, and the Algerian Cretaceous species became dubious. So the only valid species is Brachiosaurus altithorax. And the only place it inhabited was just America's United States during the late Jurassic. It can tower 46 feet off the ground, reach 80 feet long and weigh 55 tons or 50 metric tons. It was previously recognized as the biggest land animal ever, until new sauropods were discovered. It became a giant success in Jurassic Park, and walking with dinosaurs. But it didn't chew like a cow. And many famous models are, in fact, the African giraffe titan. Cause you see? Its signature head bump is shorter and its nostrils are at the tip of its nose. Its name refers to its front legs being longer than its back legs. And although initially depicted as a swamp dweller, it was mostly terrestrial and sometimes wallowed in water. Number 4. This is a childhood favorite among dinosaurs. Meet Triceratops, formerly Agathomas. Othniel Charles Marsh previously classified this large reptile as a bison. And throughout the 1870s, it was initially named as Agathomas, and even Polyonyx. Even though it initially had several species being added, they were deemed synonymous. So the only valid species are just Triceratops horridus and Triceratops prorsus. It lived alongside the powerful Tyrannosaurus rex, its main predator. And along with it, it was the last of the non-avian dinosaurs to go extinct. At 66 million years ago, as one of the biggest Ceratopsians, it was as big as a bull elephant, at 30 feet long, 10 feet tall, and weighing 18,000 pounds. The sick Triceratops in 1993's Jurassic Park made it a successful Ceratopsian. Its signature three horns are why its name means face with three horns in Greek language. If faced against a predator, like T-Rex, it would use its horns to attack and its fancy frill to protect its neck. But sometimes, it gets injured very badly. Number 3. This is a fan favorite among dinosaurs. This is Stegosaurus. Its most famous features are its signature large kite-shaped back plates and four sharp spikes at the tip of its tail. It previously was depicted with eight spikes on its heavy tail. It would use those spikes to hit a predator's face and cause serious injuries. Scientists today call this spiky tail a thagomizer. As for its plates? Well, some scientists believe that it used them to change color to threaten off a predator. As of right now, only three species are valid. And they all lived in the United States and Portugal at the end of the Jurassic. But initially, there were many species added to the genus, and were thought to live in Madagascar, China and England during the Middle Jurassic and Early Cretaceous. And there are also doubtful species added too. It can get as big as a bull elephant, at 30 feet long, 10 feet tall at the hips and weighing more than 8,800 pounds, making it the biggest member of the Stegosauria group. It became a smashing success in Jurassic Park, and the British Walking with Dinosaurs documentary. It is called stupid because of its walnut-sized brain. The brain fits well in its rather small head. But one paleontologist believed that there's a second brain in its a But that hypothesis was gross. So that was disproven. Number two. This is the first that pops into people's minds when thinking about dinosaurs. And is traditionally thought of as the king of dinosaurs. Meet Tyrannosaurus, the bulky predatory brute. This strong carnivore became a Hollywood success because of the Jurassic Park and World trilogies. It was previously thought to have a single species, Tyrannosaurus rex. 
with some species like Tarbosaurus betar and Zuchun tyrannus magnus originally being added to the genus, as well as in 2022, where two species, T. regina and T. Imperator being classified as valid until later deemed synonymous. However, in 2024, an older second species, T. macrainsis, was described as valid. It actually surpassed Spinosaurus as the heaviest land predator ever, at 42 feet long, almost 13 feet tall and surpassing 11,000 kilograms or 12 tons, making it the only theropod to surpass 10 U.S. tons. But even though typically seen as a terrestrial animal, it sometimes swims in water. Despite its arms being small, they are actually strong, in fact, that it can lift 400 pounds with its puny arms. It sometimes gets hurt when it hunts its favorite meals, like Triceratops, Ankylosaurus and Ananotitan. But it has the strongest bite of any land animal ever, surpassing 12,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Its 12-inch teeth are actually designed to crush bones, and can break any protective part of its favorite meal. So it didn't need its arms to take down its prey. It was initially thought to be speedy, at 31 miles per hour. But current research say that because of its robust build, it was slow, maximizing at 20 miles per hour. And finally, number one. This is probably everyone's favorite dinosaur. It was a popular dinosaur ever since 1879. So famous, in fact, that it was synonymous with another genus, Apatosaurus. This is Brontosaurus the thundering titan. It was previously thought to be a species of Apatosaurus until a new study popped out in 2015. We nowadays know that this is a separate species and genus, but its head or skull was another paleontology problem. You see, it is part of the Diplodocidae family, but its head was replaced by a skull from a Camarasaurus, a type of Macronarian. But nowadays, it has that correct small elongated head similar to Diplodocus. It can be 70 feet long, stand 20 feet tall and weigh 24 metric tons. It was smaller and had a longer temporal range than Apatosaurus. Every child should know about Brontosaurus, as it appeared in many media like Land Before Time, 1925's The Lost World, many King Kong films, and even Sesame Street. In the past, it was depicted as a giant stupid slow-moving lizard that dragged its tail, and was also seen as a swamp dweller very often. But truth is, it was mostly terrestrial and sometimes wallowed in water.